Hello, Cancer. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Star Spinner Tarot by Trungles. Uh, website is chroniclebooks.com. Where is that website? Right there. So that way, if you want to find more stuff by them, how is? You know, I wash this table all the time. I'm going to blame the cat. How did I get schmutz on that? How? How? He does throw my stuff on the floor. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Supportive Oracle Cards, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish, illustrated by Jesse Reich. There's no website on this one. I'm wondering, is that... Can I blame the cat for that? I don't know. Because he does, like, think everything is his, obviously. So... <laughs> um, what do we have for cancer? This is going to be like the Pisces one. I have to go through it and we'll have to see when it unfolds. I'm trying to get a quick snapshot. Like, is this good, bad, indifferent? I don't know. It, there's a lot of good cards on your side. We'll find out. Starting off, you've got, is that passion? Passion with the Six of Swords. Mm. Is this bad? They're telling me it's not bad. But I feel like something's not right here. Something's not right. Um... Something happened around you, and you're just trying to not address it, is what I'm getting. I almost feel like somebody you care about, somebody who literally means a lot to you. Like, you know, when they're around, you're happy. If they, if they were to leave today and never come back, that would greatly upset you. Let's do that. So it, it's definitely somebody who matters to you. They did something they weren't supposed to. And they kind of got their, they got their payback for that. And I feel like you're, you're seeing it and you're like, I don't want to, like, there's nothing for you to really do about it. But I feel like you're just kind of walking around the subject and, you know, if the subject comes up, you're just not giving your opinion about it because you're like, yeah, well, I mean, we're all human. Things, we can't be perfect all the time. And you just don't, you're just like, I don't want that person I care about to kick while they're down. I don't want, I don't think that's right. You know, they're paying their dues. They have to pay their dues. I get that. But like, you're like, I don't want to deal with it any more than I have to. And I don't like, I don't enjoy watching somebody I care about in pain. And I know it's upsetting them, but they are, they're getting their just due. It's so it kind of bothers you, but you're kind of like leaving it alone. You do care about them greatly. That's what I'm getting with the passion in the Six of Swords. No, I'm getting joy with the justice and letting go. I know this may... I really do feel like somebody got their just desserts. Like, I really do think so. Um, it, but it's kind of like it's moving on. Something is moving on. It's almost like, you know, somebody got caught doing something they weren't supposed to do. And they have to pay their, their dues. Justice comes in with the joy. It's kind of like this is what's supposed to happen. They have a life lesson coming in. I know that joy card seems weird with the justice... Somebody's happy about it, but things are balancing the way they should, and I feel like you can clearly see it, kind of like, you know, you know, when, if somebody's doing something they shouldn't be and they get called out for it, you're like, well, you know, it's what's got to happen, and it's moving on fairly quickly. I don't feel like this is holding you down, um... But I do see it bothering you going farther down the line. Like, you keep thinking about it. Like, you know, it's it's not lost on you. Kind of like, all right, I care about that person. Yeah, they screwed up and they, they're paying their dues for that. But then it starts to really play on your emotions a little bit. Kind of like, what else are they doing? Or were they doing? Or what else am I not seeing? Like, it's, it's, I think it's with the same person. It's kind of like, well, all right, they were doing that, and they got called out for it. But then you're starting to really wonder, like, you know, there's been some weird things around them before. And, you know, they do seem a little bit shady every now and then, and I try to write it off. And you're starting to really wonder, like, have I been giving them more of a free pass than they should have ever been allowed? You're just self-auditing yourself. Just, It's all personal. It's all to yourself. And you're just questioning, like... 
Have I been a little lax on this person? Seven of Swords, Eight of Pentacles reversed, which is, I think, really good. Because I feel like it's breaking of a pattern here. Um, whatever was going on with this person... Other people, I think, are giving them a hard time. But they're trying to move on like it's done. They're not addressing a lot. Other people are trying for answers, but I'm getting them with the um, Seven of Swords. They might just kind of like, are they going to ditch out on you? I think this person might ditch out on you. This is somebody you're loyal to. But I feel like this energy is like fading away. Like they're literally still around, but you're not seeing them nearly as much as you used to. And it's kind of like, I thought we were closer than that. Um, I thought we have more of a connection than that. I'm getting, they don't want to deal with the breaking of the pattern. I'm getting the breaking of the pattern literally might be because they're not going to be around close enough to do it. It's almost like, you know, a neighbor that's moving and that you were you would hang out with them every now and then and you're like, well, can't we still do that every once in a while? I can drive over to your place. You can drive over to my... No, no. I, well, I, I'm so busy. I can't. Um, or maybe it's a family thing where somebody gets a divorce or something like that or people aren't seeing each other anymore. So they're, they're, they're just kind of going to the wayside. They're disappearing though. This person is just like, they're disappearing. Now, when this happens... There's, I don't feel like there's anything physically wrong with them. So it's like if you really want to go see them, you can literally go see them. But at the same time, it looks like they're trying to ditch out. They're just trying to ditch out. They just kind of want to move on. They're going to do a whole clean slate type thing. It reminds me, I like baking analogies, right? Of course. If you watch me at any length, you realize I do baking analogies all the time. Um, it's like I'm making brownies from scratch, like you put in the flour, the cocoa powder, the butter, all that, you've done it from, it's like you've done that, you got halfway through it, or they got halfway through it, and then they decided they didn't want brownies, and then they, you know, just rinsed it down the sink, all that batter right down the sink, and you're just kind of like, oh, that's what they want? I mean, we, we can, okay. <laughs> and it's kind of like the bowl is still there, we can still make brownies, but everything we were doing, they're like throwing it away. We can still do stuff though. You're like, well, you can still make stuff in that bowl. We can make a cheesecake. We can make anything we want. We can make cookies. We can make a, a what? A pizza. We can make pizza dough. We can do anything we want, you know? But they're like, no, no, I'm just going to take my bowl and go. And they just kind of like rinsed it all out. It's kind of how it feels. Like the bowl is still there. I still have my bowl. But everything they were doing to make stuff in it, they just rinsed it all out. And they're just kind of like, yeah. And the bowl is still there, though. Like, like the, the structure is still there. Nothing is really destroyed. The brownies would have been eaten at some point anyway. They're not going to last forever. But it, that's how I keep looking at this. Like, the bowl is the, re the relationship. Like, it still literally exists, but there's nothing going on with it. Does that make sense? I think I finally got there two days later. There we go. Um, and you're letting, that's what they want. You're letting them. Um, they're figuring things out. They're, I feel like, I don't know, it's, it's very, mm, like, it's a general read, right? But some of them are really trying to figure out what's going on here, and they're trying to just start from scratch. Um, there's a lot of energy to start from scratch. There are, there is an energy of kind of like disappointment, kind of like if I hadn't this, then that wouldn't have happened. You know what I mean? If I hadn't done this, I wouldn't have been set back this far. If I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have had to pay that price, and that price was pretty high. So there is some learning on that person's side, but the energy is kind of like they want things to be renewed as fast as possible. Um, they are ditching out on you. Are they permanently done? I don't know if they're permanently done, but they're ditching out on you. And I feel like you're watching this person, and you're like, all right, well, I guess that's what they do. That's more of who they are. Um, you are... I don't know if you're disappointed at this point. I don't know. It's just kind of like 
you're just learning about more about how they work and you're seeing them a little differently than you were before. I feel like you're also looking at this kind of like, it's not like this is new. It's just maybe more of an angle that I wasn't seeing before or that I was acknowledging as much before. So you're seeing the truth of it. You're doing what you have to do with it. You've got the Six of Pentacles on your side. It's not all bad. It's not all good. I feel like you're seeing this from a distance and you're like, well, at least they're owning their part. You know, um, there's good and bad to this. Things are changing. Things are changing a little bit. This person is still okay, but they have a different role in your life now. And you, I feel like you're just kind of like, you know what, they're not completely gone. If I could probably pull them in still, but if they don't want to be a part of my life, I feel like you're kind of like, well, then that's what it is. Emperor shows up. I'm getting the word return. I'm getting the word return. They do seem to be coming back around. Um, they will come back around is what I'm getting. The Emperor is very strong, but the Emperor also does things on their own terms. I don't think this is going to be a shock for the people this clicks in with. When you, I think this is going to be completely on point for whoever this person is. They do things their way when they want to. They will come back around. Um, they're going to look to deal with the situation. I feel like the situ whatever the situation is, when it's happening here in the, the other part, it's too raw for them. It's too sensitive. It has to kind of like settle for a while. It's kind of like you have boiling water. You, you, you're not going to touch that water when it's boiling. I mean, that would be foolish. It's kind of like you got to set it to the side, let it cool down, and then when it's when it's safe to the touch, like it's not going to damage a person. That's when they're you know it's got to cool down. It's got to it's got to relax. It's got to like let the heat disperse. It's got to simmer down. They're going to come back and they're going to refortify this with you. They do miss you, and they easily they easily realize like you not in their life really is leaves something to be desired like you know I can't find somebody like the cancer and my you know this person the cancer person is really good for me and I think they've been a good friend and they didn't really beat up on me I don't feel like they I feel like they're looking at this like you didn't make things really hard you were honest but you didn't make things really hard for them and they're like you know what I'm, I gotta see if I can you know fix this because I feel like you know the way this is going I'm ready to deal with it let's see if we can deal with this with the cancer and see if just we can be at peace because they don't want you really to leave their life. And the situation has to settle and calm a lot more before they can really see it that way. Because I, I feel like as they keep going and they're realizing how much you're not around due to their own choices, they're like, if I don't do something soon, the cancer is going to be completely out of my life. And I don't want that. That's what this energy is seeming. They, they, they want us re-solidify. They don't want you out of their life completely. And they're kind of worried about it. When they come back around, I get the... Two of Wands with the Friendship. And it's the healing energy for this. Um, the friendship feels like healing energy for me. When I'm connecting to this, it's kind of going in the sense of like, all right, let's just see if we can, let's just see if we can, you know, enjoy each other's company. In the beginning, you're like, let's not make it a big deal. Let's just like hang out, see where things go. If it's temporary that they're going to be around, then it's temporary if they start, you know, adding back into my life a little bit more permanently, well, that would be great, too. I don't see you really, like, overthinking it. I feel like when I get that Two of Wands, especially, you're like, taking it moment by moment. Like, all right, maybe they're back, maybe they're not. I'm just going to kind of, like, not make it a big issue. You know, that's just it's going to be one of those things where, you know, time will tell, and you're completely seeing it that way. The wheel turns, and I'm getting, like, more things come forward. I'm getting this person wants to, like, clear the air. They're going to find, I'm getting creative ways to clear the air. Every now and then they're just going to start the conversation about the past and address it so that there's no wonder. And I feel like they're going to talk about, you know, distancing themselves from you for a little while, how that really happened, what was really going on with them, how they were oversensitive or just maybe not even oversensitive. Maybe they're just very sensitive to the situation at the time. And anybody they felt that they needed to talk it out with, they just couldn't do that at the time. They just, they weren't there for it. So they're going to have creative conversations with you. Like, you might be surprised. Like, I'm almost seeing, like, for some of you, like, game night with, like, this person and maybe a few other people. And somehow the subject just comes up and they just kind of give a piece of it. And then they change the subject again. 
just every now and then I feel like they're going to fill in missing pieces. They're going to give information about what was going on, what they were thinking, and then how things happen and move on from it again. I feel like information will keep slowly folding in like that. All right. That's what we got. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.